sticks it, sticks it. It has a very... Little teeny, one foot long ruler. And but here you go. You've got to then close it. The way you condense these is you pull So once you get it into a nice tight cylinder, you then can throw it into your protective sleeve. And close it. Like so. Uh, so that you can take notes on that piece of the quantity of paracord that we all like to work a little hard. Another thing I've got to point out. So this one is using any ruler. So sorry, I mean, like, because he actually, I'm not MBM, but has this nice long, it's the, which is just made out of a drinking straw. So these things can sometimes be, so let's get one to my cyber tool. Makes your tool almost into a, a, a one-handed, one-handed operation. Is that interesting? Have it spring back into position. But it really holds up, and it has a rip in the edge. What do I need? Oh, not too bad. So this is my emergency tape dispenser. Hey, tape dispenser, check it out. So you can use that to dispense tape to okay. You pull this off. But with this knife, you do. You have two little supplies. You cover it with a straw. I plan on getting a clear straw so the color coding can be seen from the outside. So this one is kind of ambitious. Black for stealth operation. This is a magnetic retrieving tool. Now you have to open it up carefully, pull off the protective sheath. Then here is a magnet can use to pick things up. And this I think will spool most easily when it's not on the knife. But I've attached about a meter of uh, dental floss. Or if you just want to, you know, store cordage, store uh, dental floss, or fishing line. I have the little rotary drum there in the center, just made of another smaller straw that breaks free. Now you've got this one meter length tool for picking up Swiss Army knives. Oh, an amazing amount of weight. I've uh, picked up things as heavy as a Leatherman before. So it'll pick up even pretty heavy items. Uh, or it's just a dental floss uh, holder. So to make this one, I built a rotating sleeve out of a plastic straw. Uh, you'll find with these if you cut them, say I want to make one like this. At first you'll think this is too big to work on this cyber tool. It's too fat. But you'll find when you slice them this way, they curl in on themselves and get even smaller. And if you want, you may, be, may want to actually cut some of it out. I also recommend rounding these corners so they don't snag as it rotates. Anyway, I attached the, the uh, dental floss to it with a bit of tape, and then since this rotates freely, what you want to do is hold it with your fingernail as you're spooling it on. See that black mark? That shows I've reached the one meter mark. I just put that on with the Sharpie pen. So out of the paper clip that I show held in the corkscrew from the previous video, we're going to make a grappling hook. So in lieu of a magnet, if you have to pick up something that's non-magnetic, you can use a paper clip hook. So basically you take the paper clip, you straighten it into a straight line. I'm just making a quick down and dirty version. I'll show you the more detailed version I made in a moment. Bend it into a straight line. Then if you push on the two ends, you'll find the natural center point. Ideally, you should find the natural center point. You may want to wrap that around some sturdy so Hopefully you have a Swiss Army knife that has pliers, or you have to bite the bullet and use a pair of pliers, such as a Leatherman. So you get it into a nice straight loop like that. You then bend that in half, like this. Basically, the grappling hook, after put, putting some loops up top here, 
the grappling hook is going to be made out of this little tripod. Pull off the split ring. Now here's the grappling hook I made previously. And I'm going to put little hooks at the end. Hard to do this on camera while I'm doing it, but here you go. That's how you make a hook. <clears throat> so here's a more finished grappling hook. You have three hooks on each end and then a dental floss or fishing line attachment point right there. So first starting with the pin in the cyber tool, we pull that out and we make a side hole in our outer, outer sleeve right in the middle. And now we're going to enlarge that hole by putting it through various larger devices such as the corkscrew. thing is, we do not want the edges of this hole to be frayed. Don't be afraid. Pull it through. Not also helps keep the <coughs> dental floss from pulling through the tape, theoretically. Apply this to the cyber tool. Push the tape on hard. Make sure it rotates freely. Now lock the bobbin with one thumbnail and then twist on the supply. This is a shorter supply, just a little under a meter. And we go all the way up to the top and then back down, and you keep sort of repeating that pattern. So assuming you don't have any snags, here's how it works. You pull. And that's how it's dispensing. And then it breaks away when you pull it. So I attached my grappling hook using a uni knot. And we finish up the spool. The grappling hook is already grappling something. Okay, so here's the finished deal. Stick that over the cyber tool. Give it a go. And you can dispense it from the knife like so. Now I can pick up nice big heavy things. Well, let's see how it does. Ta da! Grappling hook. There's a close up of what it looks like. So in an older apartment building, I once dropped my keys down this hole, which is amazingly wide. 
about 30 centimeters. I then used my retrieving tool at the base of the building, and I got my keys back. So how many times has this happened to you? You're on a spy mission, you sneak up to the bad guy's palace, which you have to infiltrate, and all of a sudden you realize there's a wall you have to scale. Luckily you have your grappling hook on your Swiss Army knife, and here's how you deploy it, because just throwing it over the wall, of course, is what simpletons do, but you're a professional spy, so just like Batman, or uh, Spider-Man or any of the other superheroes, you need a way to launch it over the wall. Here's how you do it. First we deploy the grappling hook. We then open the launcher. So we load the launcher place the grappling hook on the launcher and now we launch and that's how you get over the wall success